Okay, today is van number eight, uh, Kuventi from Bai. Uh, we are going to um, Garibongsa Temple in Leverett, Mass. We are in Leverett, Massachusetts right now. And there's a court and pa in the back, and a bow. Um, eight shift, the shift number eight, we're gonna go to um, the main entrance. It is about an hour and 45 minutes drive. So today we are going to offer alms, meaning we made food, dessert, and everything. Um, Point and six mile. Donated to um, the Buddhist monk. Okay. The Peace Pagoda is also up there. It belongs to Nipozen Maihyoji Buddhist Temple, which is a Japanese temple. Um, this temple is far away from Lowell, so not a lot of people come Turn here. Right. I used to come here with uh, my mom, so we'll go. We'll go see the Peace Pagoda. But now, where's the what? Right. This is on the way towards the Peace Pagoda. Okay. So. Okay. For my last video, you saw us uh, making the rice ball. You saw us throwing the rice, and today, um. We made food and dessert, and we're gonna come offer it to Buddhist monks. And we dedicate it to our family and ancestors that have passed. Let me take off my shoes. This process is called that bad.
we put scoops of rice and again we always dedicate this, this to our family that passed away. I did a dedication to my mom, my uncle Puni, Puret, grandmas on both sides, uncles. So here I have numbat, okay, um, yellow bean stuffing, and I put uh, aluminum foil on the wrap because I made um, uh, lemongrass, coconut tea with eggplant, and then here is chamare, and then here is rice. So when we come to the temple after we to the monks to get a blessing. We would have to do this, and it's like a community. Everybody come and eat. Uh, so not turn over there. This is the food that they're prepping for the monk. Okay. Here I made a lot of coconut, a lot of lemongrass. I made this with fish, and the veggies are um, clustered eggplants, long eggplants, bamboo, onions, and uh, Cambodian green bean, string beans. And then over here is chicken with bitter melon. Here's Om Chan. She used to work with my mom. Hi, Om. Chirip Sua. Oh, you're my son, my love. Hi, Mom. Mom, you're my son. Mom, you're my son. <laughs> so the monk they eat around like 11 30 and different different family they come and offer food so they take turn whoever come first offer first and get their blessing first you see there's more people coming as you notice we already did our offering so now we're just chilling Okay, we are gonna take a walk up to see the the big Buddha that they constructed like probably almost 20 years ago. So th they're building something here now too. Hey, picnic area. More people are coming. The Peace Pagoda is up there, the Japanese temple is up there. So in the summertime, this place, um, they also have a meditation um, session that lasts for like, I think 10 days. I always missed it because usually summer, I have a lot of summer activity with friends and family. But imagine waking up in the morning. I'm out of breath because I'm walking up the hill. And hear all these birds chirping 
and breathe in all the fresh air and meditate. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully 2023, summer of 2023, I'll come and join that meditations um, class. <clears throat> yeah, I missed it. I missed it last year. They 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 didn't do it during COVID, and then last year was the first year they opened again. But um, I'll be here one day meditating. We're here. There's a statue of the Buddha and a meditative posture <clears throat> and then in the next building they call um, Pre Jonipian so he's in a sleeping position Okay, so good. Okay, so right here, it's under construction. This is a... Ooh, this is a um, statue of the Buddha um, <clears throat> on his final resting day, meaning when he passed away, he passed, his posture was like this. Right here, again, it's under constructions. Okay. Now we're gonna go up to the Peace Pagoda. This is like hiking. I brought heels earlier. But then I also brought um, sandals so I can walk. Oh, I should have brought uh, my hiking boots. Quite a hike. My dad's out of breath. So this is the Peace Pagoda. Sometime um, the monks from the Japanese temple and the Cambodian temple, they eat together. Like they'll go down and have lunch with the Cambodian monks, vice versa. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Ah, out of breath. Oh. But can we? Last time they. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. No, I'm not going to go. The door is locked. Let's go. Let's go peek at the window. <laughs> This is the Japanese temple. See, they also have a lion in front of the um, the entrance, just like a Cambodian and Laos, Southeast Asian temples. We.
So this is a Bodhi tree. Bodhi tree is a type of tree that the Buddha meditated for many, many years before he reached enlightenment. Um, you know, we can look, but we just can't touch. So this is a Bodhi tree. This tree can live for like, I don't know, hundreds of years. Yeah, um, it, they can live up over a thousand years. Um, so most Buddhist uh, practitioner or religious site usually take a little um, imitation, like a little root of the original tree, and they plant it all over Asia. Um, the, the branch is really big. There's a drum. So um, Japanese, they have a different sect from Buddhism that we, we practice. Southeast Asian practice Theravada Buddhism. That includes Cambodia, Laos, Thai, Myanmar. And Mahayana Buddhism is practiced by um, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. And then um, I think Tibetan and um, Bhutan, they have a different sect. Um, pretty much it's, it's the same, it, it, but they all get along. All Buddhists get along. We all practice the same thing. Just our rituals are a little bit different. Different. It's also a lot of cranes, origami cranes. This little pond here with uh, lotus, lily pads. Oh, pop bongs and I thought, but you're gonna need a chona here. We're gonna go take a picture right there. Bong. Why thought you take my name? You could put up my chokana. You're my roach and I'm the line. ปัจจัยที่ว่าที่พอปัจจัยนี้สําหรับลูกปราบโครงต้องเกี่ยวอีกนิดหน่อยมันมันจําเอ่อลูกนักสกอตไทยมาหมู่กับพ่อพี่พ